What's going on guys? I've got here a 2008 Scion XD and we're gonna see if it will pass the block test. So there are a number of red flags on this car that lead me to believe that the head gasket could be compromised or that there could be a crack in the head. So red flag number one is the owner is telling me the car has a history of overheating. Uh, red flag number two is when I check it out, there's been previous work done where there's custom wiring that has been put onto the radiator fan. So it could be that someone attempted to band-aid this problem by rigging the radiator fan to just run all the time. Uh, another red flag for me is when I examined it, the coolant was low in the closed pressurized system and the reservoir was empty. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. And uh, one thing I like to do is I like to see how quickly the cooling system builds pressure. So right now you can see on the upper radiator hose, I can squeeze it. It's pretty pliable. Obviously there's no pressure there because the engine is off and the engine is cool and everything. So we're gonna pop in here. Go ahead and fire it up. I've got it in neutral with the e-brake on and I'm using my scan tool to monitor the coolant temperature. We can see how quickly the coolant temperature increases. So I just fired it up. It's at 50 degrees. The ambient air is 46 degrees. And you can see that temperature is climbing already. Climbing quite quickly. Another red flag. So now let's go under the hood. And I'm gonna squeeze the upper radiator hose and see how much pressure has been building up. So it's already starting to build up a little bit of pressure. Let's gently remove the radiator cap. And I'll go ahead and do a test right now, even though the engine is not warmed up at all. So the way this works is there's a diaphragm here that pulls a vacuum on the cooling system. It pulls gases from the cooling system through this test fluid. And if the test fluid changes colors, then that's an indication that the head gasket is blown. So it's supposed to be blue when it's new. I'll show you the container of the new test fluid. So it's blue in color. And if it changes color to orange, then that's an indication that the head gasket's bad. And I'm not seeing a conclusive change at the moment. So let's give it some time. We're gonna allow the engine to cool up or to warm up and then I'll run this test again. Wow, so we're seeing 93 degrees, 95 degrees. It's warming up quite quickly. All right, so I've been revving the engine up a little bit. We can see we're closer to a uh, correct operating range. We're at 140 degrees. I went ahead and turned the heat on and I do feel heat coming out of the vents. That does give me a clue that there is enough coolant in the system to circulate warm coolant or hot coolant through the heater core, so that is a good sign. If a head gasket is severely compromised, it can leak enough gas into the cooling system that it will displace all of the coolant in the heater core and result in no heat. I've also refreshed the fluid in the block tester. So we're gonna be doing the test with fresh fluid. And we can see some coolant in there now. Hard to see on the camera, but it is a disgusting purpley color. Not ideal. I don't think the coolant has ever been changed in this vehicle to my knowledge. Well, let's get this on here. You can see the blue color. Let's see what it changes to. So yeah, that is a color change for sure. It would be nice to do a control. Maybe I'll do that on one of my cars that I know has a good head gasket. But yeah, this fluid is uh, doing a color change, certainly. It is now like a greenish, almost an orangish color. 
I can pour some out and we can take a look at what the color looks like. And you can see there's bubbles in there, so that is actually another red flag. This car is just full of them. I'll use my, uh, let's see, I need a clean cup. So here's my Chick-fil-A cup. I'm gonna pour this in so we can better see the color. And you can see how it starts out blue. And this has been changed to a yellow color. So that is a conclusive failure. Failure of the head gasket. So let, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what methods you use to determine if a head gasket is bad or not. And uh, I'd like to hear any insight that you have to share. Thanks for watching.